Hi, I'm Jeremy. I'm a former computer science student, currently working on improving my coding skills to prepare for a software development job. Lately, as part of my daily routine, I've been doing C-sharp code katas, or basically little coding exercises, on the website Code Wars. Today, we're going to be talking about using ChatGPT in order to complete these code katas. First, Let's go through the step-by-step -step process of using ChatGPT to solve a C-sharp code kata on Code Wars. To begin, you would open up Code Wars and select a code kata to work on. Next, you would copy the code kata prompt and paste it into ChatGPT. From there, ChatGPT will generate a solution for the code kata. You would then copy the generated solution and paste it into Code Wars to submit the solution. Now, let's go through this process a couple more times. But this time, we'll discuss some of the issues with reliability. For example, ChatGPT may be down temporarily and you wouldn't be able to generate a solution at all. Additionally, the generated code may not work properly and you'd have to troubleshoot the solution. It's important to note that while tools like ChatGPT can help experienced developers be freed up to work on bigger design problems, it's not a good idea for beginner developers to depend too heavily on it. The point of doing code katas is to learn the language better, and cutting corners using ChatGPT can affect the beginner developer's ability to learn. Now, let's look at what it takes to solve a code kata manually. In this process, you would start by reading the code kata prompt and attempting to solve it on your own. If you get stuck, You'd look up information online at websites such as Stack Overflow or W3Schools to learn more about the language. Even though it's more time consuming, this process allows for a deeper understanding of the language and better use of problem solving skills. In conclusion, it seems tools like ChatGPT are here to stay. It's important to make good decisions on when to use it or not. For experienced developers, it can be a useful tool. But for beginner developers, it's important to learn the language and problem-solving skills by doing the code katas manually. Thanks for watching.